to all of them, they have a set one. So, so set oh. one means with tetramer. Okay. Yes, set one with tetramer. Yeah. yeah. Tetramer. And so with this is identical. This is identical. Not really. They got five sets. Yes. But, so not not identical, but uh, okay. So all right. So let's do set the two, three, twelve, three first. Okay. It's the number of the patient two thirty eight. Right. That's right. And now you are getting the four uh, single. The single. Right, that's right. That's what I do for every, and so it's yeah. the same sequence. Yes. Take some time. Your mouse, it's not moving, Dr. Sue. No, it takes some time. Oh, it, okay. It's trying to calculate it. Okay. Hmm, but still, yeah. this is a lot of cell events. So do you recommend not to get, not to get a lot of events? No, I wouldn't recommend that. If they can do it, then of yeah, course this is better. Yeah. But, uh, So do you have any, like for this one, when you in like an increased voltage, do you have any rule or just you? No rule, just, uh, I think so. Okay, so here's the thing. Yeah. With the human, that because every body is different. It's not okay. like mouse, right? The BHD2, no matter what, it's BHD2. So there are but with human, everybody's different. So how do you do it so that different batch of sample will be identical? I think the rule of thumb is when you run the flow cytometer, make sure the setup, the configuration is identical. Okay, yeah, that's- Right, so yeah. once you set it up, you always just go there. In fact, that makes it easier for you too. Yeah, that's what I did. Right, that's right. Then you can say uh, from different batches, I can run them together the same time. And if you cannot do this, um, so if that's not the way you run it, we have to force gate it. Force gate it when you run in the same batch, Yeah, you could, uh, you can kind of drag it the way it's set up here. You drag this out to the other sample. So whatever gating I set here, you drag it over there it, okay. it will be the same gating. So yeah, so even though you, you run it not at the same time, it's you analyze them with the identical condition. So that, um, yeah, so those are the ways to overcome that. Okay. But <clears throat> how you set this up, this part is less critical. The more critical is do you run them in the identical, set up the gating yeah. identical, right? Yeah, I have the, the same set and the usual. Right, that's right, so, right. Right, like okay. next week or next month or next year, or something might change. Yes, yeah, we have it the same. Right. But some are quite obvious, like you see this definitely. 
that's yeah. uh, right. So, okay, well, that's good. So who's the one with the more dead cell? 242? Uh, two, yeah, two forty two. Two, what? Two forty two. Yeah. Two forty two. Yeah, that's the truth. All right. And I can see there's some beads here. So right here. How do you know it's beads? I think those are beads. The tiny beady concentrated at that corner. That's can not you your goal. It? It's very difficult. Yeah, yeah, can you make it bigger? Just I want to be sure that I can recognize the beads. Yeah, here. Because okay. it's so unique. It doesn't look like that cell because okay. it's size-wise, it's really tiny beady thing and so concentrated in that spa. Okay. So I think those are beads. Got it. Right. Okay. All right. So now. You can almost see the B cells there. Mm. Or mononuclear cells. Mm. Wow, so lots of beads actually. So with that, see there you can see it. See mm. the little shaded thing? Right, yeah. so I move it to this side. So you see okay. this. Oh, that's a good one. That's a, so in a way we can use this one. So now I moved it, I yeah. can uh, readjust the gating, this here. This one did not have so many beads. You know, because uh -huh. you count, it's five million, but most are beads. So, but whatever this sample is, whatever you did, if you can remember, this is a good one, the best but one. On the other hand, for some reason, we lost a lot of cells. See, it went all the way from 100% light to now some are just 2%. Yeah, that's the truth. Right, so what, what does that mean? This time. What does that mean if we lost a lot of like? Right, it, it went from all the way yeah. at the time when we set up light versus death, yeah. we got about almost 100% light. But That's the reason, true. as it turned out, a lot of them are beads. Got it. So, so the live just means an event that it doesn't. Right, doesn't right. So those so are the beads? The beads right. are right. right. They're all here at this end. But the thing is, is um, uh, you, you didn't lose a lot of cells. You just, when you count five million events, a mm -hmm. lot of them are beads. You know, that's right. Of, that's right. So, so what you got to do is somehow not count beads as events. I thought there was a way to do that, like adjust, do something like this when you do it, so you don't count beads as. Well, but, yes. So when uh, you are doing the sorting. Yeah, you, you just uh, you not sorting. You just do the analysis when yeah. you collect the event. You just collect. You just even actually do what I did. Uh, then, uh, so before you start collecting event, you already set it up. So you okay. only then you collect this only. Got it. So it's you, the non B, not the bitty corner. Right. So we're gonna get to from the from the beginning. From the beginning. Right, yeah. so before right I will now, start recording. Right, but luckily you have five million, or three million. Otherwise, we almost have nothing left. But then, so let's see. Okay, so you can see there's still a lot of non. Let's see, but I think they're gonna disappear. Okay, with the CD nineteen. Yeah, so those are here. Clearly, they're not probably just beads. That's it. All right, those beads are hard to get rid of. That's the truth because we. And you already cut down the beads, right? Yeah, we did. Right. So this is strange. We already cut it down so much and still. 
And and I took a video of the uh, mm. in the tube. It was really good because I saw the magnet and it just against the wall. You can't imagine how any beads could not resist plastering. Mm. You know, the tube, it was plastered on the wall mm. with the non B cells, but any bead should be out there too. How, I don't know how it could avoid it. Mm. It was a very good, right. very good magnet separation. Yeah. I'm going to move this game. Yeah. Okay, so here is uh, so <laughs> then, right. So before I run the, I just run the CD thirty eight for plasma cell to. No, I, I do the oh. the antigen. Oh, this is the this is the this is the goal right. coming up here. So before you run, before you before run, right, the, then you look at each subset separately. That's it. This is the gold part here. The other part was silver, but you know, this is gold. Okay, I think I, I could bring this down a little bit. But this is a strange tetrum or negative, or or there is little positive, but not too much. Little bit, right? Yeah, not too many. Like it's right. No, not too many. That what that what exactly when I did it, it was. How right. did you enhance it? What did you uh, do? You just got to display, show yeah. large, draw large dots. Oh, got it, got right. it. Yeah, because it was like uh -huh. that. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Okay. So then you can see the dots better. Yes. And at this point, let's go through, see. Wow. And Who's this that? example. Yes, and all of them, like they are zero positive, like they have anti Smith and this tetramorphor is an RMB. Where's the normal? Oh. What? Who's the normal here? Uh, you, do you, uh, Dr. So you did not include the, the normal guy. Yeah, so two, 244 is yeah. here. Yeah. Um, That's normal. Yeah. So this is the identical. I could drag that file here. Oh, yeah. We want to put the normal guy. Put the normal. It's like, I mean, it's not normal because you got COVID. So maybe we're going to get the same result because of the yeah, theory that we got yeah. that COVID that can. I mean, get may induce antihistone. Induce SNRMB cross reactive. <laughs> Somehow it didn't get in there. Somehow it doesn't get that sample in there. What? Yeah, it won't it won't take that sample for some reason. So what I can do is I just drag this over there. Because it's already on this side. Yeah. I'll just drag this here. Huh. It doesn't do that. Oh, here, that's it, right? Oh, wait yeah. a minute, that's one, 238, but it doesn't do this. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't recognize these. When that happened, I mean, some configuration is not the same or the, the staining set are not exactly the same. Um, I mean, two and the three, uh, two, three and two, three, 
uh, I mean, I did the three twice, but two, three, it's the, yeah, uh, I add the different tetramer and different uh, antigen. Mm -hmm. But set one the same. Yeah, right. But it doesn't see, it only drag it to this one. Yeah, set one. But it three. doesn't drop it to this one, even though I drop it to the entire set. Yeah. But uh, so it, it's not there, right? So I have to regate this completely to do to get that. Well, maybe you can show the rest of the critical goal. The, how to yeah, do the tetramer and the histone. Right, but I don't know why this sample looks like this. What's know, the difference? What is the number of this? Is this is 238. 238 got shifted yeah. to that side. Oh, I see. This is before you cut down the antigen. I see. No, this is after I cut. After you cut? Yes, this is after I cut. But the, what about, oh, I see. This is control. I see. I got you. This is control. It's for the, yeah, are, yeah. Hmm. All right. So the control so high, I think this is way too high. So after, this is after we cut the. Hmm. Yeah, but the real staining is off scale. That's true. So, I need to bring this down. Okay, so that's a problem. If we bring that down, this become like this. So it has to be a good balance. Yeah, so probably this is non specific. Mm, right. I thought it was like uh, uh, this is right. After that's right. So, and this is after you cut down. Yes, to one to 100. Right. So, so maybe this, yeah, go ahead. Can you go through the rest of it though? You know, how you gate the tetra positive. I mean, I know it may be, you know, just. Just how you would do it. Mm, right. So I'm going to gate here. Anything after that could be real. But because anything I, yeah, before, because, right. now this is so the critical this is part. The histone, right? Yes. And this is because of the control that's. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. This right. is the critical part here, right here. Right. This part. Gating those. See that? So this thing, I got tetramer, but I'm not setting up any tetramer gating yet. I'm yes. just gating on histone versus non-histone. And these are not real. So let's, uh, but they bind to something. So let's, let's uh, don't look at those. And this one is a control still. So let's see if uh, So in a way, I, I'm going to ship this even more, this end. So try to get as little as possible. Right, so uh, to me, but uh, this side, you gotta shift this thing, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, so it's gonna be like this, okay. okay. All right, so let's uh, get here. So the positive histone, you will start to get the... I will, right, I will start to look at yeah, the result, but uh, okay. 
me make this smaller. And this one, I think we're gonna look at <clears throat> Tetramer and the biotin. But I think this will have the same problem. Let's see. Okay, so this is the. Uh, well, actually, less of a problem. Yeah, this doesn't have so much yeah. um, stickiness. Right, this is tetramer. That histone always gives some problem. Yeah, exactly. I think we can, uh, like, I don't like the histone because like always- Right, the that's right. So- Can you uh, replace it with the acrosis? Replace with what? Like replace the histone with uh, acrosis. The, what's that? The, the, the thing that Dr. Mons want me to do the, what is it? Is it not acrosis? Uh, well, anyway, watch watch this. Yeah. There's another critical goal coming up. Mm -hmm. So you try to get the SM positive here. And see, you know, it's sort of like the, the, the you know, the, 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 that's a control, right? The, the biotin control. Right, this is the biotin control. So see, it eliminates the biotin control. So then now you just got the ones. Right, unfortunately, I cannot remove it all, but. Uh... Right, and now you got the no antigen, right, because mm -hmm. they don't bind the non specifically or specifically to anything. Mm -hmm. So then when you do the, you know, like the analysis, you know, you can use that compared to, and that the antigen specific binder should be enriched. Like for COVID-19, most people are enriched for memory B cells and if they've been immunized. You know, the COVID-19 is a nice thing we're doing because it's easier than this. And it tells us, it, it informs us how to maybe understand this. Right. Unfortunately, in this sample, so let's see, 241 is 0.023. 241. 0.2, oh, here. 0 0.02. Yeah. Hmm. That's the same, even. So in this one, maybe this is all non specific in this particular sample. We'll go to another sample. Uh, the other one is. I mean, you got four. 238. 238. 238 is uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.01. 238 may be real. Yeah, click to it. We can. That looks better. Right. This I think this one is real. 231, 238 is real because here it almost had nothing. But here, so based on this, we can make it, uh, we can increase this maybe here. So 238. Two cells. Hmm. Okay. It didn't go, didn't change. 230A. For some reason, it didn't know. Uh... Right, so this makes it, this allow us to get more since her non-specific, it's just two cells, really two cells. Whereas now with the specific, we increase this. So, but 241, it's all non-specific. So I would not use 241 for any, right? But we can use 238. Okay. Mm, okay. 
And with that, I think we can look at. Um, now here's the third level of goal. No, right. What's going to happen now is is further more goal. So right. So let's look at two thirty eight now. What what kind of sales you got? Okay. So now it's that. Um, and now you were going to see you if it's showing. more negative. Right, okay. that's right. right. So this is CD58 plasma cell with... Um, right, and it's, I think, from this point on, you know. Okay, so you, I, did the, right. I did the opposite. So I start with the... So, right, so. that's right. So, and then, right. So, but the, if you have any doubt, you yeah, always this use is, this one. Right, look at right. this. This should this be done energy. first. That's it from our positive? The oh. tetra were negative, the tetra tetra the, negative because that you got a lot of cells, so that helps you to set up the the gating and everything. Right. So these are so we use this to set up the gating. So this is. So this is we think it's the positive. I, oh. Yeah, because you can see they shipped it up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, and then the rest are. Now, this is it right here. This thing. And you, if you, you can really do all three histone. You do a histone like that. So uh, we can look at histone. So it's already there. So let me make this smaller so we can see all three together. Well, this is not the same individual. Let me go to the same person. Right, so it's like this, but uh, there's no PVPC there. And Can you not, uh, not the overlap them like that? Oh, okay, you didn't, all right, good. So this is the same person, right? Same person. So you got okay. total? Histone and uh, right, right, and right. Oh, it, and uh, it's an RMP, yes, okay. And then, So now you're going to get for double negative. Right, then it's the different subset. But it looks the same to me. But all, like all the getting from non-antigen positive, like from... Right, they all look very similar. So yeah. I don't see any, not like the COVID-19, we really see the difference. But here they are about the same, right? So I don't see... Is this another subject? Subject. No, it's the same person. The same. 
but uh, this is now getting on double negative memory and naive. So I think they're about the same. So uh, I don't need to do more, but I'm gonna see the CD11C and CD21 and see if they're different. From the CD21 right, from, and the right, negative. Right, okay. from, let's do from the double negative. Wei Chen, mm -hmm. this one does seem a little different with those wayward dots. I would say if you put a box around the percentage of, of the CD27 versus IGD, I think there's more memory in the R and P ones. Even though there's only four, I think the percentage would be higher. You, know, you, you can't really tell by looking. That's about the same. Yeah. So move a, you move your square, you include that other dot over there. All right. All right, then uh, oh, I didn't get the wrong name. Maybe uh, yeah, all right. It's, so, it's okay, we understand memory. Right. So no, I'm not changing them. I'm just dragging because I changed the. Right. Well, somehow. All right. So. Yeah. Right, so for some reason, this uh, SNRP is more memory than compared to, but this is histone. It's a little bit more on the double negative, but uh, not a big difference unless I drag this to this side. I don't think that would change that much. So where is that? Here. Okay, so five percent, eight percent, and that's zero. So in this case, can you, can you not overlap them like that? Make it so, yeah, move that. That's good. Hmm. So this is histone. Right, histone RP. So histone, this is histone. So histone tends to be in the double negative, a little bit. Right, more, a little bit more, right. Yes. What is it? Oh, five. Yeah, eight. Mm -hmm. What up, something? Right. So that's two forty A. Let's see the other ones. Some people would go run off and write a paper like this. Right. Two forty one. Two forty one. We don't this have. Is, this, is is five, <laughs> this is five. This is five patient. I know. Right. Okay. It's so five, it's, it's but, touch else. yeah, but this one has a big difference. This is yes. 241 being double negative from 7.8, uh, jump up to 31 now. That's a true. Is that yeah. histone? Histone. But RMP, this still negative. Everything here is naive. So. This is the paper. Uh, unless, okay. 
unless this is fantasy. Unless, unless there is unless they downregulate that surface receptor. That that's what happened. This is when the B cell really react to SNRP, and once they bind to it, they downregulate. So a double negative state, you don't detect any. That's possible. Well, right? let's, not, let's not, you know. No, I know, I know. I'm just saying that. Why is why two sample are like that? That's possible. Yeah, but let's just go with the simple. Uh, right. So I think. I don't so, have to do this experiment. Right. Like, because uh, yeah. So unless this, this is highly possible, because you say why? Oh, wait a minute. So this sample is. 16. Yeah. Oh, but it, see, I think I'm right. The total is 41. That's true. Histone is, let's say these two are the same, but at the double negative, it's an RMP, it's always lower. You got less. Is you, this it's, another patient? It's three, three sample now. They're all following the same pattern. So that means this subset that really downregulate that B cell receptor to bind to that SNRMP here. That's why you don't detect any anymore. What is the middle one? It's the same. This is 242, 242, 242. This is histone. Histone. Oh, no, histone, SNRMP. Okay. So that's possible. Yeah, it's possible. But what is your theory, Dr. Sue? I did not get your theory. Right, because um, when the cell binds to it, when you detect yeah. it, that means the B cell receptor, the, that receptor is still on the surface to bind to the antigen. Okay. However, in this case, when the sample is really react, the B cell very reactive to that antigen, once they, they really are stimulates, they downregulate the B cell receptor. So they downregulate that. At that point, you don't have the B cell receptor on the surface to bind to the antigen. That's why. And how, how, how can we know that at this moment? We, we don't cells... know. That's just yeah. theoretically. That that's why, that's why that's always yeah. lower? You think it'll be higher, right? But three yeah. out of three, the first two don't even, nothing. They don't bind to well, it. Well, there is an easy way to know it, and that is to make, you know, look at surface IgM and IgG. On the, all the, if they're always IgG negative and IgM versus these are IgM positive. But, you know, we know that they're IgM, you know, right? We know that's IgG. We know it's IgG. I thought we it's IgG. IgG. Yeah. Uh, I, unless we do, we do how something. How do we know they're IgG? Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. We really don't know. But transcriptome wise, I think they're ITG. Right. So yeah, yeah the transcriptome, that would tell us. But the thing is, is IG, unfortunately, or fortunately, IGM just tends to stick, bind better than IGG. On a right. Yeah, that's right. That's they right. They downregulate IGG. Right. That's right. They downregulate that. So. I think this is it. I think we go to transcriptome next time. Or like, not, many, not many B cells. But you know, yeah, we got. Yeah, go. I think we, we should look at transcriptome. Um, this one versus this one versus this one. Yeah. I mean, if we want, I can I can ask those patients to come and donate the blood, and we can send those. But for trust, uh, because already we know those the B cell for those patients, and if we want the transcript, if we want yeah. to do the transcriptome for the same, I right. can. Call them and ask them if they can come. Right. And, I think uh, we do transcriptome and then different we, patient do, or we, we should uh, incubate the B cell with this anti IG to block the B cell receptor. So, or let it go internalize. So now you cross link the B cell receptor internalized. So they will not have the B cell receptor to bind to the antigen. This is in a way similar to antigen cross-linking the visa receptor, then the visa receptor can downregulate. And Wait, so- is that, is that everybody? All the three are like that. The same pattern that DN has this one, because this one has a lot of DN 
So, 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 wait, so let me let me ask. You. So the patient was. What are the patients again? This one is what? This one has forty-one percent DN in total. No, what number? What number? Yeah, I see. Two forty-two. I don't know what they are. Two forty-two. So this is two forty-two. Right. And what was the other one? Yeah, well, 238, 241. All right, I got 238 is the other one. Now, where's 241? 241 is the sample before this. This is 241, 241, 241. Oh, so see. you see, you say, why is always SNR and P get down regularly? Histone doesn't do that. Histone actually went up further. So, Right, so you say what's going on? By histone, this memory went down compared to the. So this going up and down is it all good things or bad thing? Can you do now look at something else like data on? Um, you know, you got other markers there. Right, right? let's. Uh, so this with is kind this, of like this the beginning. Mm -hmm. So there's a fourth level to come here. Right. Okay, good to know. I don't have <laughs> time. I that's it. I don't have anything else. Oh, I, thought there was, uh, I thought there was some other marker on the surface. Yeah, that's a, I think the SNRP is going to be hard because they're not there. So right, I know, but you would struggle and get something. I mean, I did well, I, I, the, I, I did the histone tetramer for the healthy control. Mm. Like I did two sets, a new set, the histone tetramer and uh, the HNRMB antigen. Mm. And they did the COVID uh, spike and uh, PMP. I think I'll let you look at that. Sure. Is, uh, yeah. yeah. We should also, of course, look at the sera for antihistone RMP, nebulizer. OK. But I'm convinced this is it, it works. We just have to get more, a few more B cells here so we can batch them and do single So cells. next time I will gonna do the same. I will not gonna change anything. No, don't change. And the histone, and the histone right. will gonna be keep it one to 100. Right. No, but I mean, the thing that, there is one thing to change. At what? the very beginning, don't date on, avoid dating on the B. Yeah, because like last time, Dr. Sue will show me like to first to get them, that's why I did it today. Oh, but anyway, so wasn't sure. the beads and then collect the, do this gating, but you got to do it before you do this. You know, you got to do yeah, it. Yeah, not to get in the bead. That I don't know. Yeah, I today I recognize that's what people you gotta do like this in the for sorting, and you know what I mean. And then you got to sort. It'll take a while. The one cell out of a thousand is what you want. What's okay. this now? Which and what are you doing? This is a 2111C thing, but uh, I think this is the BN1. BN2. Right, we think histone will be BN1 and RMP is BN2. Yeah, except there's no cells available. Well, I know. You know I mean, in principle. Hmm. Hmm. Then, uh, somehow I didn't recognize. I already drag it there. Why it's not? Right, so that's right. And I don't know why this thing did not recognize what I, oh, I see it, it's wrong. I see. So, right, it's not, it's this. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, one, it's not the end two. It's uh, it's can a. You do the other one. There's nothing there, but can you do the other one? Hmm. Nothing. Okay. Nothing there. 
not the, I think the 242 is the only one, it's a little bit, but uh, it's DN2, DN2 more. So let's look at two, yeah, but uh, here this is mainly DN2 also, right? But unfortunately it's only four cells, so this is more like the same. I think with this, I can move this because so these three are more the same. So it's it's um, DN2 like that. Is it what? Wait, is this 241 all the way across? 242. Wow. This one is 240. Okay, so I think 242, everything is DN2. Can you make it 242 all the way across? This is 242. No, the first one is. That's the 242. Why all is it 242? Oh, yeah, all of them 242. Oh, okay, you got 242. Okay. Right. So what is your conclusion here? They're all activated. Doesn't matter, it's a histone or RMP or total because uh, in this patient, that as long as they, they got stimulated into DN2, they are at the end, they are all DN2. So this one, um, so with that, we will imagine this is an AA, anti-RMP positive, lupus nephritis positive. Did I, is that right? Oh, let me check. <laughs> can you put, wait, Chen, can you put 241 all the way across? 241. Yeah, you got lupus nephritis, that you are right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah we wish right. you could do right. 242, right. she got That's that right. lupus nephritis. Right. Even I did. I'm not give you the, the data. Right, that's right. That mean I did a good job. You did a good job. You did a wonderful job. Yeah, very good. Right, that's right. I is can go to, yeah. Now, what's the other one? This is 242. 241. This is 241. And they, who's, the other, who's the other one? So, this is not that bad. So Yeah, 241, she did not get any lupus nephritis, just lupus. Right. Right, and 238, I, I would imagine she's not that bad. Well, she is kind of in between, but not as bad as 242. Yeah, so it looks like she, got, yeah. she is nephritis negative, I still would guess. She got lupus nephritis. She does. Yeah. All right. So she's in between 241 and 242. Right, so 242 is completely DN1, very few DN2, right? And then 238 is in between, so, but yeah, so this is 30%. So it's not too good in a way. Mm. Yeah, but I would imagine 241 of them got the worst. 242 has the worst. 242, she got, um, she got lupus nephritis, 242. Right. Then, but that's, but that's it for this. Right. That's so right. Fatima, I think you can see that all the gold magic that goes on here. Yeah. This is exactly the way to do it. Right, okay. but then I would not stop there. I would no, no, no. to look at the memory, the other, and I will look at this one, I will look at this one as well. Okay. Because, yeah, so you have to look at all of them and the same thing to all of them so that you, you will see that probably 242, who has the worst, she will have the most of this kind. Got In it. the memory, this is called resting memory, okay. activated memory. So yeah. I think you should look at all three and then yeah.